Hey, my sweet goats, let's talk a little bit about bus stinkies or city bus stinkies or, or public transportation stinkies or whatever you want to fucking call them. People that choose to stink in public. Let's talk about them. But before I do, I want to kind of, uh, you know, uh, say I'm sorry for not uploading content for the last week. OK, at least I'm saying sorry for the last week and not sorry for the last two months. That's what it used to be like. Uh, but the truth be told, it's been really hard to record shit in this fucking sauna. I can't sit here, you know, for three minutes without sweating my ass off and turning into a more greasy fuck than I normally am. But all is going to be well soon. The community came together and now we're going to get an AC installed in here and it's going to be wonderful. So thank you for that. You know, I'll be finally cooled off. We'll be able to pump out more content like this onto your sub feed. OK, uh, if YouTube will allow it to show up on your sub feed, will they? I don't know, but we're going to try anyway. Uh, so, yeah, look, uh, after VidCon, I decided I was going to go ahead and budget a bit more. And that included not having to drive my car as much. So I got a bus pass during the hottest month of the year. All right. Hottest period of the year. Fuck the month. It's going to be hot for a uh, past July, I'm pretty sure. But I came back during a fucking heat wave and I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy a bus pass. Sick. <laughs> Let me do this. It's going to be a great idea. You know, and, and it's been fun. It's been fun, but it's been fucking sweaty. OK, we had a crazy heat wave. It was like tw over 20 people that died in Quebec. It was nuts. And I'm pretty sure they were dying elsewhere they were just reporting Quebec's numbers but it was fucked up okay but look for the most part being on the bus has been great it's nice to be in public I always enjoy being in public I love you know the chances of meeting someone interesting goes up and that's that's a beautiful thing okay but man there can be some annoying people either in the form of people that don't know where the fuck they're going okay I don't know why they don't know where they're going they left the house obviously wanting to go somewhere so how the fuck did they forget where they're going you know and then of course there's the stinkies And I'm telling you, I got back, I got on a bus to go back home and I, the bus was already filling up and I was like, all right, I got to find a spot that's a little bit further away from someone because I don't want to stick next to them because I know that, the, it, you know, it's really hot, you know, and you don't want to be glued next to somebody on a fucking hot bus. You know, you want to give, you want to be courteous. You want to be like, all right, this, I'm going to leave some space in between you and I, all right? So if you can, if you can, you choose a spot that's a little bit further away from someone, someone else, you know? And I'm sitting there and, uh, and uh, you know, this, and all of a sudden it smells like a fucking garbage. I look up and there's this rat that gets on the bus and he's like, he's got a beard, a shit beard. It's really shit. It was garbage. I couldn't believe it. It was like stringy and gross. I was like, oh my God, you would, you would, because this guy smelled terrible. I like wrinkled my nose at him and locked eyes. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, really? This is happening right now? You're not gonna, you're not gonna smell good? Come out in public, you're gonna smell like a fucking piece of shit, you jamo? Like, I don't get it. So I'm sitting there and uh, he's, he's all, I already hate this guy because he's like fucking sucking on a lolly, uh, lollipop. Not only does he smell like shit, but he's sucking on a lollipop. Just fuck, fuck off. All right. He finishes the lollipop and he tosses out the window as the bus is moving. So this guy not only smells like shit, not only was fucking sucking on a lollipop, this guy decides to take his finished lollipop and throw it out the window onto someone's fucking windshield while the bus is moving when there's literally garbage cans at every single bus stop. And all he needs to do is hold on to that fucking piece of shit stick and then get off the bus and then put it into a garbage. But no, he tossed it out, tossed it out on the middle of the fucking road. It probably hit someone's windshield. It for sure did. And that guy was like, fuck, really? You know, that's the third time this week. <laughs> Anyway, this guy was the worst, and I, I'll be real with you, okay? I don't want to bring, I don't want to bring race into this. I don't want to bring ethnicities into this. But the guy was Indian, all right? And I, and I'm an Indian. And I've got to tell you something. If I don't put my deodorant on, I'm gonna smell like the worst thing you've ever smelled in your life. And this happened to me when I was a kid. I didn't wear deodorant because my parents never fucking told me about deodorant. They didn't, they didn't really give a shit. They were used to my smell, I guess. But my, 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 my peers had to deal with it all the time. Like the, the students around me. And they were like, fuck, this guy smells so bad. This, he smells terrible. They were like, Anand, you smell like shit. You have to wear deodorant. And I didn't get it. I didn't get it at all. I was like, whatever, man. I take showers twice a day. <laughs> I thought that was enough. I thought that was all I needed. Just to shower twice a day and I was going to be good. No, you need more than the fucking shower because throughout the day, you start to smell more. I didn't know this at the time. I remember there was this one time, this was in grade seven. And I still didn't get it for another two years, by the way, even after this event. I was in grade seven. I get up from my desk to go talk to my teacher. And these kids left a fucking bar of deodorant soap on my desk when I got back. So I saw it and they were like, yo, you got to wear some fucking deodorant. You smell terrible. And uh, and look, uh, I still have that. I still have that bar of soap to this day. It's a reminder of how it will never stink again. When I apply my deodorant, I apply deodorant like four or five times per pit. I'm not even joking. I literally just smother it in there. I go through deodorant like absolutely no one else. And look, from one Indian to another, okay? I get it, I get it. I used to be a stinky fuck, but I am one no longer. And you too, 
can be won no longer. And all you gotta do is buy a little bit of fucking deodorant and then put that shit into your pits and then go out and, and who knows, man, who knows? You'll go out and smell so nice that a girl might meet you and she'll be like, hey, hey, I wanna talk to you because you smell good. I'm not even joking, man, I, it's happened to me. I hug someone, they're like, oh, you smell so nice. And next thing you know, we're having a conversation. Next thing you know, there's a possibility for something amazing to happen. You could meet your wife this way. Look, I care so much, I'm gonna put an affiliate link down there for you below. You can click on it, you can buy deodorant right after watching this video. You can be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix my life. And look, before you go out, factor in how you smell into public decency. Do you smell good? Yes, you're ready for the outdoors. Do you smell bad? No, stay the fuck inside or get yourself fixed up, okay? It's really just that simple. You really gotta do that. And, 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 I, there's no excuse to be stinky in public. There's no excuse whatsoever. If you're coming back from the gym, throw some fucking deodorant into your gym bag. Put that shit on before you leave the gym. I don't want to have to smell what you ate for the past three years coming through your fucking pits, okay? It really isn't something that I need, okay? I did that when I was young. I was an idiot. And I'm telling you right now, if you're an adult taking the fucking city bus, if you're taking the city bus and you smell like shit and I gotta get that shit in my nose, I'm gonna be pissed off! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that, feel free to go ahead and hit the like button. Of course, share that with a friend. Share it. Share it with a friend. And if you really want to help me out, you can always go ahead and check out my Patreon. We do movie nights every week. Uh, uh, and, uh, and it's always great. You can always support me for as little as dollar a month. One dollar a month, that is 12 bucks a year. You won't even notice it. I tried canceling a one dollar pledge, by the way. I didn't even know how, but I didn't give a fuck in the end because I was like, whatever, it's just a dollar a month. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Help me out, okay? And if you just want to see more of me, make sure you hit the sub button and and uh, and hit the bell icon because YouTube won't show you my shit unless you hit the bell icon and say, hey, I want to see all of Bunty King's shit. If you want to catch me on a live stream, you can always follow me on Twitch. Until next time, I love you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.